And the reason we call intrusive memories intrusive is that, well, they're unwanted, but they're also a really interesting aspect of human memory. It's involuntary memory, memory that occurs against our will. And if you think back to literature, the iconic moment is Marcel Proust eating his madeleine, and then suddenly all the childhood memories come back. Now, that's fine when it's a lovely memory or something useful, but it's less fine when the content of that memory could distract us, particularly in high-performance environments. What do we actually experience in our colleagues, our patients, or ourselves when we have an intrusive memory? Well, the first myth about intrusive memory is that they're like they are in Hollywood films. They're not. They're not long video replays and flashbacks at all. They're usually only about 200 milliseconds, probably. After that, it takes longer time. And they're not necessarily the worst bit of the trauma. They might be the moment just beforehand or a bit of perceptual information. So they're brief, they're fleeting, and we'll all have seen it in our colleagues. They, they often create a little startle response so you could see somebody's eyes change. But basically, they're, they're, they're brief, they're snippets, but they're visual, typically. To recap, they come back to mind involuntarily. They're sensory-based. They sort of carry, think about them a bit like a capsule, a time capsule. They're carrying tons of information. We perceptual, spatial information, also emotional information. And when you have them, they hijack attention and you can't think your way out of them. But what that means is if you have your attention hijacked at a critical moment, whether it's on a climb or in a work situation or a family situation, they can impair your functioning. And particularly if you go back to why they're triggered, you'll usually have a flashback when you've got accused to the same thing. So if somebody, and this is uh, examples with ICU staff, has an intrusive mem memory of an intubation that failed, uh, they won't have them all that failed, but that particular one, you'll find that any triggers that are reminders, perceptual reminders to that particular constellation of, as it were, visual events, could be the thing that triggers the memory. Now, the memory might be very short, as I said, less than a second, but it's the cascade of responses after that that cause a disruption. 